Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at Motorcycle Live 2021, and as you can see behind me, I'm at the CCM stand. So CCM always have some amazing bikes, and I love their stand here in 2019. I so closely came to buying a Spitfire. But anyway, I'll show you what they've got on show this year. So the first things to look at are a couple of these Spitfires. And yeah, they're just lovely. This one, I think, is an official one from the Infinite film, except Mark Wahlberg isn't really here in person. But just to see, you know, the finish on these bikes, uh, I know you do see a few of them around now, but every one, every time I see one, I think that really is just a brilliant piece of engineering. You know, every last detail on it. I mean, even when you, I know this is a geeky thing, but just looking at that headlamp shroud, you know, and even that clock, someone has put a lot of thought into these things and really made them into a work of art. So here we have another Spitfire. This one's got that big white wall front tire. It's got the roundel on the tank. It's got these lovely uh, leather boxes on the back. Honestly, I'm not sure how practical they are. Uh, but, you know, if you're a rider of a certain inclination, that is definitely going to be your thing. Again, the bike is just really nicely finished. It's dripping in carbon fiber all over. You look at that engine cover and the rear brake protector. So yeah, just a really, really nice bike. Uh, I'll go and see what else they have here. So this really is something special. This is a Heritage 71 titanium bike. So this is, it's just amazing. Just, well, I'll just let you soak that up for a bit. So this bike is actually 136 kilos, wet but without fuel. So I guess it's gonna be 140, 145 kilos, something like that. And the titanium frame saves you about 30% over the weight of the steel frame, which wasn't a heavy bike as it was. But yeah, just to see that and to see the engineering that's gone into that, that really is an exceptional piece of work. I will stop saying that at some point, but you know, if you like motorcycles and you like engineering, it's gonna be hard not to like a bike like this. Wow. So just a couple more things to look at here. So this is their, their street tracker. Again, it's 55 horsepower, single cylinder. Uh, they're about 11,000 pounds here in the UK. And yeah, just a really nice finish. Just love that green and white paint job. Uh, also available over here in black and gold and again it's a sparkly tank and uh hey who doesn't love a sparkly tank and for those like something that looks a bit more like a bumblebee they also have it available in yellow and last of all here we have another one in a very elegant metallic red and gray and yeah just really really nice bikes uh, if you're not familiar with ccm you should definitely look them up they're made not far from me just up the road here in the uk and yeah it really is cracking I love this stuff, I really do. Can you tell? Just one more bike to show you from here at the CCM stand, and that is the Maverick. So this has got more of sort of an old school scrambler style with that high level twin exhaust. They have it here available in a few different color choices. Again, it's that same 600cc single cylinder, makes about 500, makes about 55 brake horsepower, about 58 newton meters of torque, and only weighs 145 kilos dry. So probably 155 to 160 kilos wet. I just think they're really nice bikes. Uh, they cost about 10,000 pounds, so they're definitely not the budget end of the market for something like this, but engineering comes at a price. And, you know, they're not silly money. You know, if you think you could have something like this for about 10,000 pounds, if you're looking for a bike of this type um, and you are willing to pay for the engineering that goes into it, then, you know, it's not ultra exotic a sort of money. And yeah, I think they're great. I really do. So that's it. That's my look around the CCM stand here at Motorcycle Live 2021. Just lots of really interesting bikes on display. Uh, I love the engineering on these things. I know they're all based around kind of the same engine, but you know what? They've taken the idea of a lightweight, you know, not low powered, but you know, not, not super powered, but just powerful enough for what it is bike that would just be so much fun to ride and just taken the engineering to another level. You know, I, I really love them, as you can tell. I don't have one, but I really should. Anyway, I hope this has been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out the rest of my Motorcycle Live 2021 coverage, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.